Get started in about a minute, guys. Keep our knees slightly bent. 
right hand's on the hip, left arm is up, fingers point to the ceiling, let's bend all the way to our right, and switch to our left. And switch it up, back to the right. And to our left. Good, we're gonna go one more each side. Right. Reach, reach, and switch to your right, uh, left. Nice, back to the center. Keep your hands on your waist, look straight ahead, forward, eye contact, okay? So I'm looking straight ahead to the camera, I want you guys looking straight ahead at me. Focus, now we keep the eye contact straight ahead and we go back. As if someone's pulling our belt and bringing our waist forward. And bring our head down. Look straight ahead. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs as well as your lower back. And back. Awesome. We're going to need one more forward, one more back. And forward, slow. Back. Excellent. And come back up. Awesome. All right. Now, let's get our legs apart. A little bit more than shoulder, a double shoulder width. So we were here. Go a little bit further. Remember, it's not about how far we stretch, whether or not we can do a split. Stretching warms up the body, it prepares us, so when we exercise and move quick, we don't jeopardize injury. So when we stretch, let's do it slow, and let's focus on warming the body. So let's get our feet, legs in this position. We're gonna keep the legs slightly bent without touching the floor. I want you to bring your hands down, just like this. See where I am? Now, in this position, just take your arms, put them out to the side. Good. Now, bring them in, put them out. Like you're trying to touch me and I'm trying to touch you. Touch the fingertips. Touch, touch. Good. Now, take the arms, put them behind. And we're flying through the air. And exit, bring your body forward. And let your arms hang. Don't touch the floor. Not yet. All right. Let's take our hands, reach through the center. Balance. Just try not to wobble or fall down. Now take your hands, put them on the mat in front of you. Good. Now, without picking your heels up off the floor, let's take our hands, let's walk them out as far as we can. A little bit more, we do a little bit more. All right, now we take our head through our, through our shoulders, through our arms. And that's it, push. Feel that stretch in your hamstring muscles, which is the back part of your upper leg. Now, slowly walk your hands back. All right, stay with me. I'm going to pick up the pace a little. Let's go to our left leg. Switch to our right. And back to your left. And run. See where I am? I'm not on my knee. I'm above the knee or I can be below. Don't push on the knee. And switch back to your right. Excellent. Keep your right hand on your leg. Take your left over to your left. Bring your head down. Awesome. And in this position, watch what I do. Bend one leg. And the other leg. Switch. Other leg. And last one. Switch. Good. Back to the center. All right. Now we're going to sit through. Bottom of the feet together is our butterfly stretch. All right, so I want to get, the more flexible you are, the closer you're going to be able to get your knees to the floor. All right, so what I want to try to do is get my knees as close to the mat as I can, but keep my feet as close to my body as I can, and keep my back straight. So some of you, I know a lot of you from class, I watch you guys when you stretch, and girls, I know you can bring those legs all the way down, so let's try to get them as close as we can. All right, now I don't know if Demi, Logan, when you guys are doing this, remember, shoulders back, back straight. Matthew, Daniel, shoulders back. Kaylee, Aaron, up nice and tall. All right, slowly bring your shoulders down. Now look at me. I'm looking at you. You look at me. Breathe in through the nose and out through your mouth. Now let's come back up. Good. One more. Forward. Breathe. Relax. And shoulders back. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to take our right leg, put it out, keep your left in, point your toes up, put your arms out, and just reach. All right. Reach. That's it. Keep going. You can go further than me. That's awesome. If you can't, stay here. That's 
okay. And switch, right leg is in. Now we put the left leg out. All right, so here we go. Arms out, fingertips out, reach. Breathe into your nose. When you exhale, try to come down a little bit further. Awesome. That's it. That's it. I know you're out there, Jackson. I can feel it. I can see your stretch. Not with my eyes, but with my mind. I can feel it. I think you're doing a great job, buddy. Awesome. And relax. All right, let's get our feet apart, legs apart. Again, we're not turtles. Posture, shoulders back, hands up. All right, stay with me. I'm going to move a little bit quicker in this one. Go to your left. And to your right. Back to your left. And back to the right. One more left. One more right. Keep your right hand here. Put your left on your left leg. Bring your head down. Now bring your hands to the front. Now walk your fingertips out. Walk your fingertips out. Walk them. That's it. Can you go a little further? And a little more. A little bit more. And come back. Awesome. All right. Let's stand up. Put your uniform. Bow. Awesome. All right. So before we get into a fighting stance, we go through kicking, punching, blocking, footwork, and all that other stuff. Just work on some balance. Okay? And when we're in class and we're balancing, we're using stability balls, or we're not using a stability ball, and we're working on picking the knee up and kicking, we always, I always tell you guys to focus on something in front of you. So pick something in the room that's in front of you that's not moving. Could be a chair, could be a table, could be something on the floor. You may want to put a book in front of you. So stare at that object, and that's going to help to keep you steady and a little bit more stable. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this cone. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to put the comb in front of me. So that's what I'm going to stare at when I'm doing this exercise. All right, so I'm going to put my feet double shoulder width apart. So we're not in a horseback stance. We hear what we're doing this exercise. I just want you to take your hands. I want you to put them up here. I want you to point your elbows down. So all we're going to do when I count one, you're going to pick up the right leg. When I say down, we put it down. When I count two, we'll say pick up the left. We pick up the left. When I say down, we put it down. So we're going to try to keep it up for a count of five. So when I say right, we pick up the right knee. Ready? Nice and slow. The hands stay up. And right knee up. Down. Good. Left up. Down. Right up. Down. Left up. Down. Right. Now, if you notice at the beginning, I was a little wobbly, but now my balance has gotten better. So it's okay. Take your time. We're not perfect. That's why we train. That's why we practice. And down. One more, right? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Up higher, 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 higher. Put it down. All right. Now the left. Keep it up. Look straight ahead. Stare at that object. That knee is up as if you're throwing a front kick. The higher the knee, the higher the kick. You want to keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I guess we can put it down. Awesome. All right. Back. All right, now we're going to get in a horseback stance. So let's start in our ready stance. Now remember, the ready stance shows what? Confidence. So when we're in this stance, we're not like this. Looking around the room, focus is straight ahead. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. My hands are here, I'm nice and tall, and I'm relaxed. All right, so when I say go, we take our left leg, we're going to slide it out, punch with the left hand. Ready? And right hand goes to the hip. Go. So we're here in our horseback stance. Look at my knees. I'm not up here. My hand is in here. Hand up on the hip, knees bent. All right, here we go. Let's do middle punch, starting with the right hand, left goes to the hip. One, two. Three, four, five, six, we'll go to eight, seven, eight, good. One count, let's do two punches. So same thing, but one count, two punches. Ready? One, right, left. Two, three, hand to the waist. Four, five, bend, six, seven, eight. 
going to hit me on the head. What do we do? What's that block? High block. What do we create? Space. Ready? Right hand high. Left high. Two more. Right high. Left high. Awesome. All right. I don't know if Tommy, Imagine, Ben, some of you guys are watching. You don't know the other blocks because you're in the younger class. Stay with the high block. If you know it, we're all going to switch to our low block. Ready? One. Low. Two. Three. Four. Five. Low block six. Good. All right. Let's go back to the high block. One. High block two. If all you know is the high block, you stay with it. If you know the high and low, when I count, you switch between the high and low. You know, eight point blocking, let's go to the next block, which is a outside middle block. Ready? Three. Outside four. Inside five. Inside six. Now we go to the low block. Seven. Low block eight. Good. One more time, and I'm going to set the timer. We're going to do this for a 30 second round. Ready? High block. One. High two. Outside three, you don't know the outside, stay with the high. Outside four, bend. Inside five, in six, low seven, low eight. Awesome, all right. So hang tight, I'm gonna set the clock. And we're gonna go, let's do a 30 second round. So we're in a horseback stance for 30 seconds at this pace or slower, we're doing this. Each move is perfect as you can do it. If you don't know all of that, stay with the high block. If you know the high block and low block, just do the high, low. Okay? Nice and slow. Here we go. When you hear the bell, you start. So get in that horseback stance. Put your left arm out. Ready? I'm going to do it with you. Go. All right. Here. That's it. Here we go. Halfway there, 15, under 15 now. Now I'm just going to do the high block. For those of you just doing the high block. Now I'm going to do the high and the low. Good, break, bow. Awesome. All right, let's get our right leg back, hands up into our fighting stance. Let's bend our knees. Let's keep the hands up to create wide space. So I want my knees bent, I want this hand to create that space, and I want this hand up here to protect the back part of my body. So I'm here. All right, so before we start with punching and kicking, let's start with footwork. So we're going to move forward one step, we move back one step. So take a quick second, guys, girls, make sure you have enough room in front of you where if you take that step, you're not going to hit anything. And when you go back, make sure you don't go so far back that you hit wherever it may be behind you, okay? All right, so nice and slow, the back leg. See the leg I'm touching? My right leg steps up, and I step back. Now my front leg steps back, my back leg steps back. Now some of you guys out there who maybe green, red, brown belts, you might, you might be saying, oh, since they might, but it's so basic, I know how to do that. But think about this for a minute. I said the back leg moves first. So sometimes what we do is we get in the habit, we move, and the footwork is great, but we do this. We move the front leg first. There's nothing wrong with that. That becomes a different step. The whole idea is for me to bring this leg up so my opponent in front of me doesn't see me cover the ground until I'm in their space. So we want to move the back leg without the front leg moving until it's ready to move out. Okay? All right, so here we go. I'm going to count. One is forward. Two is back. Hands are up. Ready? And one. Back. Two. One, two, look where my hands are, one. I'm looking at you, two, you look at me. One, two, one, two, one, two. And switch your stance. All right, now we got our right leg forward. Same thing, but the left, up, right out, right back, right, uh, left goes back. Ready? And forward, one, back, two. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one more. One, two, and switch. Awesome. All right, now we move off the closing the space. So we're probably going from our safety zone, which means we're too far away to reach that person, and that person's too far away to reach us. We're safe in this position. A lot of space. The next zone we would go to is kicking zone, where I'm close enough to use my leg, but not close enough to use my hand. Okay, so what I want to do now is go to the next zone, which is punching zone. So I want to go from my safety zone, out of kicking, right into my punching zone. And I'm going to throw that jab. Now when I go back, I move back. My beginner students, if you want to do this, you can. If you don't, just do the footwork. But watch, this is what I'm talking about. Jab, now on the way back. Jab on your way back. So beginner students, if you can't coordinate that jab with the footwork, it's fine. Just take a step back. Everyone else, let's throw that jab on the way back. Just remember what the jab does. Create space. Measures your distance, causes a distraction, creates an opening. It tells you what type of person you're up against. When you throw that jab, what do they do? They move back or they move in. That tells you what you can do next. So when you throw that jab, we're moving in, we're getting into the space. Now, what if they're coming at us? And I take a step back, I want to throw that hand out at them to get them to see this. And maybe not throw their kick or punch at me. All right, so here we go. We're going to step in, throw the jab, we're going to step out. Backhand is up. And ready? One. Now we go back. Two. One. Fold. Two. So we're moving on a straight line now. We're not moving on any angle. Ready? One. Two. One. Two. Where my hand is. One. Keep it up. Two. One. Two. Awesome. Change your stance. Now we move forward and jab with the right. Ready? One. Back with the right, two, one. Back with the right, two, one, two, one. Keep this up, two, one, two, and switch. Awesome. All right. When else do we use this footwork? Red belts, brown, green, yellow. Think about a lead kick. I throw a lead kick, but I don't do it where I'm just staying in my position and holding my ground and moving forward. This becomes that footwork. This leg moves up. When that leg moves up, the right leg, instead of the left leg stepping out, the left leg's gonna throw a front kick. And I step back. So up, kick, back to position. So when I count one, let's step up, throw the front kick. And stay here, we're in the space. When I count two, let's move out of the space. All right, here we go. Ready? Think of all my knee points. Kicking above the belt. So you're looking at me, kick above my belt. I'm looking, I can see the mirror in front of me, so I'm aiming for my belly in the mirror. And I'm also looking at you, so really I'm aiming for you. Here we go. Ready? And hands are up. One. Stay here. Now back up two. One. Stay here. Back up two. One, stay here, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one more, one, two, awesome, switch, left moves up, right throws the kick, that's one, that's two. All right, ready? And I'm looking outside. It's like the sun is coming out. After I'm done here, I'm going to go outside for a run. You guys should be spending time outside also. All right, here we go. Ready? Of course, using social distancing, which means you're outside, but you're outside on your own or with somebody who's in your household. All right, here we go. Ready? Step up. Throw the lead kick. One. Back two. One. Back two. One. Back two. One. Look where my hands are. Back two. Where I keep them. One. Back two. One more. One. Back up two. Change. Awesome. All right, we got the hands up. Someone's going to hit us on the head. What do we do? Someone's throwing a jab. What do we do? High block. Reverse punch. Let's throw a full front kick down. Then we'll put our own combination.
combinations together in a little bit. All right, here we go. Ready? So one count. High. Reverse. Front kick. Ready? If you guys want to throw a roundhouse kick, you can too. So you can do the high throw around if you want. Okay? It's up to you. But whatever it is you do, do it with balance, stability, and focus. Ready? One. Two. Don't get the hands off. Three. Look at me. Aim for me. Four. Go to six. Five. Six. Excellent. Let's add that lead front kick. So let's do the high, which we just did. The reverse, what we did. The full front, which we did. Now, let's step up. Throw that lead front kick. So we're going to take this which we just did, and we're going to add it to the end of the combination. So it looks like this. High, you can do it with me. Reverse, full front, bring the leg back, step it up, lead front, step back. Younger students, if you can't follow through all of that, it's a lot to think about, stay with the high block and the punch and the front kick, or just stay with the high block, or the high block and punch. Do whatever you can do, to the best of your ability, and don't worry about how fast you're doing. All right, here we go. Ready? With me. One. Back. Ready? Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Ready? Hands are up. What do they create? Where do we look? Bend your knees. 
Get that leg back. All right, ready? Hands up. And we'll do uh, six. One, two, three. Look where the hands are. Four. Jab. Reverse. Five. Six. Change. Right leg is forward. Double jab with the right. Then we throw the left cross or, or left reverse. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Back. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> so let me set the clock. Um, how about a 15 second round with a five second break in between? So for 15 seconds, you'll be kicking, punching. Uh, I'll demonstrate in a second. Then you got five seconds to catch your breath. Bell goes off and go again. I don't know, maybe we'll do like three or four of these. All right, but before we do that, let's look at something. Footwork, what does that do? Oh, it moves your press. Some of you are probably yelling out, Sensei Mike, footwork moves us forward, moves us back, moves us to the side. We circle. So footwork moves us around. When we move around, we want to make sure we're in a balanced position. We want to make sure we're in a position where we protect our body and we don't give our opponent our stomach, our chest, our head, and we expose our body for them to kick and punch or to grab or knock down or do whatever it is that that bully may be trying to do. So we want to get into a position that makes us strong. It's a fighting stance. Whether it's the right leg back, left leg back. A fighting stance is depending upon your rank, your experience level changes slightly, but for now, this is where we are, right here. I have the one leg back, which gives me stability on my back leg, leg front. I can push off this leg to move forward. I can bring this leg up and do that footwork we were just doing. But here, I'm protected. So look at me in the mirror. Well, I'm looking in the mirror. You look at me in the camera. Look where my hand is. So when you look at the front of my body, what do you see? You see this. A little opening here, but this can protect that. And my leg. The back of my body, to get here, you got to get past this. To get here, I have this hand to pick it up. So I'm here. I don't want to be here. All right, we practice from this position, and this helps us to learn how to turn our waist, but we want to get the leg back. Think about it. You play baseball. You swing a baseball bat. What do you put back? The leg. And then weight is, just, is transferred from the back to the foot. Same fighting stance, same backer stance. And you transfer the weight through on your swing. You're playing football, you're the quarterback, you want to throw the ball. Do you throw the ball with your feet together like this? There's no power here, there's no strength. When you go to throw the ball, you usually step forward and throw the ball. You might be backpedaling, but then you're still in this position to get your forward momentum moving forward again. So you're always keeping one leg back. The leg back is what makes us strong, it's what prevents us from exposing our whole body. So the point I'm bringing this up is because when we start kicking and punching on our own, everyone starts like this. We're doing this, and we're here, and all of a sudden this, this, then we swim, we're here. Well, if you don't realize you're doing this and your opponent does, you just gave them an opening. You gave them an opportunity. No matter how good you are, it doesn't matter. They now have an opportunity to get in before you realize it, and then it's too late. So keep your leg back. You want to change? That's fine. Get one leg back. Hands are up. Okay? So the first two rounds, I'll do with you. The next two rounds, I'm just going to stand here. And I'm going to move back, or I'm going to move forward. All right, all I want you to do is move in, punch, kick, move back, punch, kick. I may punch at you, I want you to do a high block. If I throw a kick at you, I want you to low block. But for the first two rounds, I'll be punching and kicking with you at a slow pace. All right, here we go. Ready? Now, let's get in a fighting stance. Hands up. On the belt, we start. Remember, speed does not matter. As long as the technique is perfect and you're balanced, that's what counts. Ready? Go. You can just use your hands if you want. There's that footwork we just practiced. Now I change my stance. Double jab, reverse. All right, relax. Catch your breath. Ready? Hands up. Next round, I'm just going to stand here. Ready? Go. 
aim for me. Punch to my head, kick to my body. You need to move fast. Pick up your knee. I'm going to change my stance. Same thing. Relax. Next round, I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to do this. When I do that, you have to block. Ready? Go. And then kick and punch. Now I'm not moving. You kick and punch. Block. All right. Last round. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to move forward and back. Ready? Go. I'm in your space. Into mine. Coming back into yours. All right. Block the jab. Block the jab. Block my kick. Block my kick. Good. Back. Awesome. All right. Grab some water. We come back. Let's go through forms. All right. Those of you that don't know the rest can 
continue with basic form one. If you know the rest of the form, stay with me on the high one. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now with the double fist gloves. Here, my hands are not open, they're closed. One, double fist middle, back stance. Two, inside middle, front. Three, punch, hold. Now we turn for the highs. One, kick punch, two, three, kick punch, four. Ready, back. Awesome, all right, we're gonna do body four. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set the clock for 30 seconds. Your form, you can do it on your own. I'm not doing it now with you. You can do it on your own, basic form one or body two. If the bell goes off and you pass 30 seconds and you're still doing your form, I'd rather have that happen than you finish your form and we still have 15 seconds to go. Remember, forms are done live, slow. So let's take it slow. I'll give you 30 seconds to do the form. When you get back to your ready stance at the end, there should be no more than about five seconds left over. Or maybe you're still doing the form on the bell. All right, here we go, ready? And give me a second. All right. Get your ready stance. Think about what form you want to do. Ready? And slow. Begin. Take your time. You have 15 seconds. So you're halfway there. You should be about halfway through your form. If you're further along, you're going way too fast. Break. All right, guys. Awesome. Excellent. All right. So next class on Wednesday, we will continue with four for you guys that know four. CJ, um, CJ, I also have a homework assignment for you. Sam knows basic form one, the first part, but I want you to work with him on it at home. So that way we come back to class and get Sam, Imagine, Tommy, Vin, all of you guys moving together, doing that form as a team, okay? Um, and then next class, green belts and higher, we'll go to Poggy 4 and uh, Poggy 6, okay? All right, so I'm going to run over there, grab hand pads real quick. When I come back, I'll explain what we're going to do. So uh, don't go anywhere. Stay there. We're coming right back. All right. I'm going to set the clock. We're going to do... I don't know, I'll figure it out in a second. 15, 20 second rounds. So I'm in a fighting stance. I put this pad up, what do you do? Punch, punch. This one comes up, what do you do? Punch, punch. I jab at your head, what do you do? High lock. I kick you to the body. You're doing a low lock. If I put the pad here, what is that? It's a roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick. Front kick, side kick, okay? I'm not having you guys do spin kicks because again, I don't know how much room you have when I don't want you throwing that kick and hitting something. So let's just stick with everything that we do where we, we're facing straight ahead, okay? Again, I'm going to go slow. I expect you to go slow. Keep your balance and stay in what position? Are we in this position or do we start here and then go to here? Think about this for a minute. If I said to Matthew, you're in front of me, kick me. Where would you kick me? Right here. If I put my leg back and I said, Matthew, kick me. You hit my arm. If you threw the kick here, I have this hand here to block or this one. So I want you to be in this position with that leg back, using your foot. Okay? All right. So, um, all right, I got, I got 15 second rounds on this. So let's do, uh, we'll do 15 second rounds, and I think there's a five second break in between. All right, ready? Here we go. Hands are up. Just move with me. Keep them up. I don't give you a target. You're just moving your feet with your hands up. Ready? Here we go. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Come into my space. Punch, punch. Punch. Kick. Good. Five seconds. Ready? Hands up. Go. Punch. Punch. Kick. 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 Front kick. Front kick. Punch. Punch. That's it. Move into me. Move in. Move in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Punch. Good. All right. Next round. Ready? We do two more. All right. I'm going to jab at your head. Where's the high mark? Block that punch. Block it. All right. Block and punch the pad. Block, punch.
punch, punch. Block, punch, punch to the red. Block the yellow, punch to the red. Block, punch to the red. Block, punch to the red. All right, here we go. Ready? Hands up. And low block, punch, punch. Low block, punch, punch. Low block, punch, punch. Don't let me trick you. High block, low block, punch, punch. High block, low, punch, punch. All right, one more round. Ready? I'm going to set it end here. Let's do one more. Ready? And go. Punch. 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 High rock. Punch. High rock. Kick. High rock. Kick other way. High rock. Kick. I'm going to kick you now. Block. Punch. Kick. Ah, awesome. All right. Everyone catch your breath, breathe in, breathe out. All right, let's take a seat, fold our legs. All right, I'm gonna take the iPad off the table I have here. And I'm going to put it in front of me because we're gonna do a minute. So we're gonna be here. Hands are here. All right, for 60 seconds, let's go through our breathing exercise. All right, we're gonna breathe in through the nose, we're gonna breathe out through the mouth. And when we're doing this, we're not becoming distracted by any other noises we hear in the room. We're not looking at our fingers, we're not playing with our toes. We're sitting here, focusing on the air going in, and then the out. And then the in, and then the out. Nice and slow on your own. So sit up, close your eyes, ready, and begin. and breathe out. I promise we're only doing a minute. I'm not trying to trick you. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep your eyes closed. Don't scratch your nose. Don't scratch your head. Stay in the moment. Focus on the breathing. Don't let anything distract you. Be aware of the sounds you hear in the room but don't let them distract you. So you hear them, you know what they are, but your focus is on the breathing. 15 seconds. Breathe in and breathe out. Almost there. Sit still, stay in the moment. Hang in there. When you hear the bell, open your eyes slowly. Good. All right. Sit down if you want to even stand up. All right, that was awesome. We did uh, time on my watch. We did 55 minutes, almost 55. We did 54 minutes. All right, that was great. Now, here's what I want you to think about. We usually start class off with this, but since I can't interact and you guys really can't interact with me, um, I really uh, can't hear what you have to say. And believe me, I love to hear your stories and I love to hear what you guys have to say when I ask you, how was your day and what did you do and what do you have going on this weekend? What did you do last weekend? I really honestly take a direct interest in what you guys are doing in your life. I love to hear your stories. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about, and I said this the other day, every day, the end of the day, before you go to sleep, I want you to take 60 seconds to think, what made you smile today? What made you happy? And again, I say this all the time, I'm not gonna give you my, my story, um, my 10 minute uh, uh, speech, you could have had the worst day ever in your mind. Today just was not a good day. But there's something in today that made you smile. Maybe it was the, re the relief of finally being done with all that stuff that frustrated you. Maybe it was that snack you had after dinner. Maybe it was spending quality time playing a game with mom or dad or doing something with your brother or your sister. Whatever it may be, watching your favorite TV show. Something made you smile. Sometimes it's easy and you remember right away what that something is, and other times you really have to think about it. All right? It doesn't matter. Think about it. Because when we put that positive thought in our head, that will bring another smile back to our face because we're going back to remembering what made us happy. Now, what does that start to develop? It starts to, it starts to develop a habit, a good habit. A good habit of having a what? A positive attitude. Now, that's the good news. You develop that positive attitude. Here's the bad news. If we don't work at developing a positive attitude, unfortunately, the bad habit sets in. 
And when that bad habit sets in, before you know it, you're going to be doing something that's not right all of the time without even you realizing it because you've made it a bad habit. So if we go to bed angry, we go to bed upset, you're going to wake up angry, frustrated, upset. Trust me, nine times out of ten, that's the way it works. I can tell you because I've done that before. So let's make it a positive, let's have a positive attitude, make it a good habit of before we go to sleep, thinking about what we did throughout the day that made us smile. Maybe it was one, maybe it was two, maybe it was 15 different things. Maybe you had an awesome day. Whatever it is, I want you to go to bed with those positive thoughts. You guys are a little bit older, you want to take it a step further? Put a journal together and write it down in your book. When you write it down, you'd be surprised how much more you remember. And when you write it down, you can always refer back to it. A friend of mine who trains in our adult, our adult class, also my guitar teacher, a very good friend of mine, Doug Meyer, he kept a journal when he was younger. He was telling me a couple of months ago how he was going back and reading his journals from when he was in high school and middle school, and it brought back all these great memories. And it also brought back the stuff where he was like, wow, I can't believe as a teenager I was actually doing that or thinking like that. So you, 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 by referring back to it, you see how you mature, you get older, you see how you, what makes you happy, what frustrates you, and what frustrates you, you try to not do it again. So let's be in control of our body and our mind. So let's be positive, all right? You guys did an awesome job today. Let's stick with this Saturday and Wednesday schedule. I'll send out another email on Monday just telling everyone what the schedule is, even though it's gonna stay the same as a reminder. Um, I'm trying not to send out more than one email a week because I, I don't wanna bombard you with email and, and you constantly see, uh, seeing stuff on Facebook. But I'm trying to do, I'm doing this to try to keep everybody informed, okay? Uh, last thing. Um, I'm putting my artwork up on Facebook. A lot of you already know because a lot of you are sending me um, tagging me in your Facebook posts or emailing me back the photos that I'm putting up that you're printing out and coloring in. And, I, and I'm telling you, I think they look awesome. I don't want you to color the picture the way I drew it or the way I photographed it. I want you to come up with your way of doing it. And I saw some stuff that CJ did and some stuff that the other kids did and some even adults were doing it. Awesome stuff. Let's keep that up, okay? What I'm going to do when we bow out is I'm going to turn off the camera, end this lesson. In about three minutes, I'm going to turn it back on and we go into the adult class at um, 11. Okay? All right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see everyone on Wednesday. And if you ever want to get in touch with me, it's Facebook. You can email me at mmac14a at gmail.com. All right, guys, Kyle, have a great weekend.